Let's rewind a bit. When we reviewed the Tempest four years ago, its haptic rain sensor was one of a kind. Fast forward and Shenzhen Fine Offset Electronics has jumped on the bandwagon, commercially available as the Ecowit Witboy. Now, Ambient Weather has joined the fray, adding this station as a WS4000. Obviously, we'll compare it to the Witboy, but is it any better than the Tempest? Another home weather station with a haptic rain gauge? Let's take a look at the WS4000 specs before we answer that. By the way, if you're considering the Witboy, our review will mostly apply. I'll note on screen when something I mentioned is exclusive to the WS4000. We're also including a link to that station in the description, but back to the review. The WS4000 is an all-in-one sensor suite with no moving parts, featuring a temperature and humidity sensor on the bottom and a sonic anemometer and haptic rain sensor on the top. If you're familiar with the design of the WS5000, this will look familiar, but the WS4000 is a bit taller and sleeker. Like the WS5000, lightning detection requires an optional sensor where the Tempest has that functionality built in. But like other high-end ambient weather stations, the Better Console allows you to both add and view additional sensors. Installation is simple, but there's a catch. Unlike most weather stations, which use a standard 1 and 1 quarter inch antenna mount, the WS4000 needs a 1 inch mast. For my testing, I had to improvise with a 1 inch wooden dowel, something I wasn't expecting. Keep this in mind, 1 inch antenna mounts do exist, but you'll likely have to order it off of Amazon instead of getting it at your local home improvement store. On the performance side, the temperature, humidity, and sonic anemometer did great. The anemometer in particular is very sensitive and feels more accurate than the traditional cup and vein models. Very high wind speeds are a challenge for sonic anemometers, but unless you're dealing with extreme weather, this shouldn't be an issue. Our measurements of temperature, wind, and humidity were all well within the 5% of variance we allow for home weather stations. The WS4000 uses the ambient weather network for connectivity. It's free to use, but if you're looking for more, a $50 annual plan gives you up to three years of historical data and additional map layers. One big plus is the smart home integration. With support for Amazon Alexa and IFT, it's perfect for smart home enthusiasts, which is included with either the free or the premium plan. The haptic rain gauge is where this review takes a more negative turn, though. Just like the Tempest, the WS4000 struggles with accuracy, especially in light rain. And unless the station is perfectly level, you might find yourself getting some weird readings if it even measures any rain at all. I'm not the only one. I've seen posts on ambient weather user groups complaining that it doesn't measure rainfall correctly for them either. As a side note, during the review we did get very little rain, so we're unable to test this station as much weather as we like, but that's mother nature for you. Here's our take. The ambient weather WS4000 offers great performance in most areas with solid temperature, humidity, and wind speed measurements. But the haptic rain gauge? It's no better than the Tempest, and arguably less so. So, is it worth the $70 premium over the EcoWet Whip Boy? Ambient weather software is definitely better, and you do get that extra into our sensor. But in terms of hardware, it's practically the same, right down to the haptic rain sensor, which EcoWit admits is imperfect. At its current price, we can only recommend the WS4000 for existing ambient weather users who want to stick with the platform. For everyone else, you might want to save that extra $70 and go for the EcoWit Whip Boy. It's essentially the same station at a lower price. It's also the reason why the Whitboy is included in our 2025 rankings and not the WS4000, as its lower price made up for the issues that the haptic rain gauge does have. We just can't make sense of the premium unless it's not your first ambient weather station. If you're already in their ecosystem, we'd recommend paying the premium as switching platforms is never fun. But that's not the end of this review. We're going to keep testing it long term, including sending it to Portland, Oregon in the Pacific Northwest for their raining season. We'll update our review if necessary. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more reviews and weather station insights. Thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, stay weatherwise, everyone.